All right, so we just got to the to the pick and pull. Here. It's here in the springs. And we're about to go pick some parts. Armory part. Yeah. Hop on, my man. Is this your ride, boy? All right, we just found, this is what we're looking for, one of these. And we're gonna tie a, uh, a line, make a hole, tie a line, and then jig it, it'll jig it. <laughs> but we found one over there, right 2004. Away, we entered, and it's right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take the part off. Hell yeah. And this van, this van was put apart too. That's perfect. Every, all this was off. It was just meant to be. Yeah. Unless this one's off too. But we don't want this one. Oh yeah, this one this one is off too. This one's a 2004. This is a 2000. Oh, 2000 and 2004. So. So how are we gonna get the energy? That's what I'm kind of confusing. How do you connect the battery to this? Well, some of these. There's gotta be a power in there. And you just connect it to uh any battery? Any battery, yeah. Yeah, by the way, for the giveaway, batteries are not included. <laughs> yeah, batteries are expensive. How are we gonna take it out from here though? Uh, oh we'll figure it out right now, I guess. Yeah, out from the outside it's gonna quick update. We just got two mortars out. Pretty fast actually. We're not good with mechanics, but we we were able to do it. So if we can do it, you guys can definitely do it. Plastics? Or no? Mm. Run between yeah, the to keep it waterproof. Yeah. All right. We're gonna get this plastic out. All right. All right. We're done. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, keep you guys updated on the next process. Uh, and how much it was and everything. We'll let you guys know how much we paid at the end. Hey guys, so we just got back home and uh, we were trying to, we we're testing a bunch of wires because it, it comes with four wires. But what we ended up doing is going straight from the mortar this motor here uh straight from there we went on a on a ground and a positive and we bought these little things for three bucks at uh at o'reilly's and then uh as you can see once we plug it in it'll spark up a little bit there it is yeah as you can see it actually works so what we're gonna do is cancel these all these wires up here it's four wires and we're gonna put electrical tape or something and just cover them but this works and, and it's really a, all and it it's, needs and it's a good speed too yeah and the speed is not not too fast there's no jerk at all so really yeah. you just need one of these see this you just need one bro. one oh that's yeah so chill. yeah this works really well so that's it now this cooler was given to me by my mother-in-law, so we're, we're gonna put it on this one. I haven't used it in a while. I have a bunch of Yetis and stuff that we use for, for camping, so we never use this one. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on this one. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where we're at right now. Uh, we're gonna drill a hole here, and, and uh, it's pretty much gonna go like this. Pablo will show you. gonna go like that <coughs> I would demonstrate so it's gonna go like that in there and the hole's, gonna be, right and the hole's gonna be here and it's gonna come out and then once it comes out we'll fit this battery in the back right here and that's all you need <laughs> we, pretty, we might we might do some kokanee fishing tomorrow with this machine if you if we finish tonight so we'll let you guys know uh, how it's going all right, so this is the final product. Uh, I know it didn't show because I, I, when we were out there at the at the 
at the pick and pull. Um, I don't think no, I don't think we showed how how to remove the the actual uh, wiper part of it. So we try to Google and and search up videos and stuff on 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 YouTube on how to take this out from the from the outside of the van. So this is the wiper part, and we couldn't find anything. So I ended up messing with it and then accidentally pulled this up like this and that's how you actually do it once you do this then you unscrew so it's gonna be like this this one's gonna be on it and that big one afterwards and then pretty much after that you're solid you'll be able to uh you'll be able to pull the whole thing pull the whole thing out but this is a little cap i think on this one it broke a little bit i'll show you guys how how it works after you do all this so then you connect negative with negative, positive to positive, and booyah. So that's the final product right there. Now, what we're thinking of doing is straightening these, straightening, straightening this up a little bit. See how it's all the way down up here? So we wanna straighten it maybe like up to here. That way it gives us a good motion. And then we also notice that if you keep it like this, it'll jig really, really high. So up to here, but there's an option to jig it less. If you move it all the way back like this, maybe your hole's gonna be up here and back. Then you're only jigging a tiny bit. See how that's shorter? Which could also work, you know? So uh, this is really, really cool. <laughs> I did it in an accident and I thought it was pretty cool. So we might do two different jigs, depending how the day's going or how, how, how active the coconut are. But yeah, we're planning on heading out there tomorrow. And then if you guys watch this video, that means that uh, that video uh, was a hit fishing for company and using this this machine and then um, uh, this is a how to make make this and uh, of course and then we might do a giveaway too as well so uh, you guys be ready for this drop <laughs> all right well thanks for watching you guys and and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos and we'll keep We'll keep making videos for you guys and keep making good content for you guys, so see ya.